Hi everyone, I'm Julie Netting. I'm here today to show you guys um, the new summer release that's coming out um, soon. I can't believe it's summer. So we're going to start with um, Foxy. And just so you guys know, and I'll talk about it as we, we get to them, I try and make these versatile so it's not just for Christmas. So with this little fox girl, she comes with her little reindeer friend, um, I made a fall card out of her, because it's a shaker card, but I put too much shake in it, so you can hardly see it. So she's fall, and then I made a car, a separate card with her little reindeer pal, really simple little tag um, with him. So she does not have to be just Christmas, and of course she can be whatever you want. Um, comes with the little saying, happy holiday, and she comes with a little bow. And I used paper, just so you guys know, I used paper for all these from um, the fall and winter paper pads. Next up is Rudy, and this is a little reindeer. Um, she, or he, comes with a die, and she comes with a little North Pole sign and a scarf that you can layer over her. And here is a little shaker card that I made. Um, I tried to make her very North, very woodsy. Um, the reindeers are perfect for watercoloring, by the way, because you can use so many brown tones. Next up is Joy. And she comes with a little saying, may your holidays be filled with joy. And she has a mistletoe that she can be holding. And I did a heart because I felt she could also be used for um, Valentine's Day or really any other occasion. She can be holding something. And here's a little tag I made with, with her. And she also does not come with a die. Her hat is removable. Next up is Mary, and her little saying is, may your day be merry and bright. And I gave her kind of a little bit of Dr. Seussical hair. Um, it kind of reminds me of a cupcake. And I thought, gosh, she could be really cute for Valentine's Day too. Um, and here she is, I painted her hair pink because it reminded me of frosting. Um, but she comes with a little present too. And then next up is Twinkle. And she is probably the most Christmassy. Um, <laughs> she's because of her pointed shoes, but she could easily be made into um, something less holiday-ish also. And here she is. She comes with um, little a little reindeer antler headband as well as a, let's see if you can see it on the package, a little coffee, co hot cocoa mug. And um, her little saying says, may your holiday twinkle with magic. Okay, so I get asked all the time how to watercolor the girls. So I thought that today I'd just do a really short um, little how-to on watercoloring this little reindeer because I love using the browns so much. Um, I'm using Essence and Wood Woodlands which are two newer color confections and they're really really pretty colors. So, we're going to start with the reindeer itself, and I am going to look at my colors, and I think I'm going to go with this Unite out of the Essence box. I never cut my stuff out oops, in the beginning because I can use the side to show me what everything looks like. So I dip my water brush. I don't put water in it. 
and I squeeze out as much of the water as I can. And I'm just going to put a light wash over his head and neck. And I'm gonna take um, this Unite color and because it has a little bit of reddish in it and I'm just gonna do a light wash over him her him now <clears throat> I'm really squeezing out the water here because you can see where I went out of the lines and I'm going to clean this up. It will leave a little bit of that white rim. So I try and keep the white around it as clean as I can. I'm going to um, get a little more of that color and pick a side, which is my left, and I'm going to do some shading. And I've got a really dry brush now, so I'm going to blend a little bit. And I may want a little darker, so I'm going to go with the color Bear out of the Woodland box. and just get a little more there. I can leave it like that or I can blend that light out, line out a little bit if I want. Oh, I forgot my pastel box, which I usually do for the ears. So I'll just do the ears in one of these tan colors, which is fine, but I kind of like them in pink. I'm going to take the darkest brown and this I'm not particularly worried about shading because it's so tiny. I just want color. And I'm only going to do one antler because these aren't the most fun to do. Now you can see on her face there's a harsh line and that is something that a lot of watercolorists will leave because they like it but you can also go back and blend it if you want it to be a little more blendy. I actually want her a little darker I'm going to go down to the redwood. Get just maybe a tad more on her. I'm not going to color in her coat because I cut her coat out. So I'm going to paint her, her pants and her boots. I'm going to start with her pants. I'm going to do this blue, which is called Stream. And I'm very quickly putting the watercolor on. The last thing that you want to do is act like you're doing markers and going like this. Watercolor is meant to be quick. It's really forgiving. I've got a little bit of shading going on on that darker on that left side again. And I may put more down when that dries. <clears throat> Her boots. I'm just going to do a really dark brown. And again, not worried about full coverage because with watercolor you 
typically have a little bit of white showing. You're not painting it like acrylic paints or Copic markers or any other kind of marker. Watercolor has its own properties. I'm using a little too much water here. So I'll try and get some of that up. And then I'm gonna do the cuff, which is can either be like a rolled down sock or a cuff. I try out all the colors what I want because they look completely different. So I'm going to go with the Essence Tray. This one is called Emotion. <clears throat> and it works really nice with these snowflake papers. And then I'm going to go back and do a little more blue just to get a darker line and it's very subtle for the shading and then um, you can of course watercolor all of these or you can do like I did and you can cut out a coat and a scarf I'm going to take my, um, I love glaze pens, and um, I'm going to do her nose black. It can, of course, be red. Glaze pens are made by Sakura, and they dry shiny. And then she's got a little heart on her head, which I'm going to go ahead and use a pink, pinkish pen to color in. And then I would take my Prima glue pen and glue her little coat on after I cut her out. She comes with a little scarf, remember? And I would glue that on to there. And I would call it a day. And you can see how quickly, how quick that went. I'm going to just, because I can't leave well enough alone, I may want her a little bit darker. And I always just start on my left side and go out. and she's dry up here, so I don't want to get into that black pen that's not dry, but just showing you how you can keep adding layers if you want it darker. And we will call that a day. And here she is different coat, different scarf, but put onto a card. So the reindeers really lend themselves well to the watercolors. Here's another one um, that I used, the red tone browns. And I did watercolor all the girls. Um, one last thing I wanted to show you, because I tend to do a lot of cards and tags because they're quick when I do these videos, but I did want to show you guys this beautiful um, piece that Michelle here at Prima did with new paper that is also coming out. Very pastel, very frosty, pretty, and it's on a stand which makes a really, really cute Christmas decoration. So I, I wanted to be sure and show that. So that's it, you guys. That's what's coming out. Um, it should start shipping to stores mid to late June. And that means it'll be in stores by July. So um, that's it. I hope you have fun. Start your Christmas 
crafting early this summer and thanks for coming coming and watching bye